So now we're going to graph an equation based on one of our common equations, um, and, we, and it'll have all the transformations, or some of them anyway. Okay, so we're looking at x squared. So let's go ahead and graph this. Um, it's our quadratic function, one, two, three, four. And we're just going to do these five points for a parabola. We can make it a little bigger, but I'll just do those five points. Okay. So now we're looking at these transformations. So the first thing I would do is I would identify what is happening. Well, it's going to have a vertical stretch. It is not going to reflect. This is going to shift it three units left. And this is going to shift it one unit down. One unit down. Okay, so those are the three things that are going to happen. So first we start with the horizontal shift. So let's move it to the left three. So one, two, three. And then I just kind of make the parabola from there. But you're thinking about moving those points. Okay. Now we have to double it. How many pieces of graph paper do I have? Okay. So now we're going to do this stretch. So we need to go two times. Um, I'll do it in orange. Two times those outputs. Okay. So you can make a table of values if you want. The zero times two is going to be two. So one, two, three. Okay. So that point is going to stay the same. Then I had an output of one, but that's going to go up to two. Okay. And that happened both at negative two and um, four. Negative four. Okay. And then this one, that was an output of four, but I got to double it, so it's going to eight. So right there and right there. Now I have that shape. Okay. So that was two times f of x, right? f of x minus three. Okay. Anyway, that's. This is this part. Two, um, I'll call it y. y equals two times x minus three squared. That's what we've done so far. And then we have to do one more thing, and that is to shift the whole thing down one unit. So let me go to my third piece of graph paper here, and I'm just going to shift it down one. So it's three, let's see, one, two, three, negative one. And then it's going to go here and here. You can count these out. And then it's going to go up here and up here. Remember, we were going to 8. Now we're only going to 7. And so then that's what the graph looks like. And I don't remember if it was called G or H. It was G. So that is G of X. Okay? So not too bad with the parabola, um, but it has... It didn't reflect. Other than that, it had a lot of the transformations in it. Um, if you were going to use a table of values, so the original equation said g of x equals 2 times x plus 3, oopsies, I forgot to put that as a plus 3, sorry, squared minus 1. That was the original. If you were going to do a table of values, which you might find it easier, you want to put your middle point where that's going to be 0, because you're squaring it. So I would make that negative 3, and then I'd go 2 to the left and 2 to the right. And I would use those x values and then calculate the um, g of x values. That would be another approach. You might find one way easier than another. And that's kind of like specifically for parabolas. So if you have a different function, you may want to do something different. But you can use a table of values to get the ordered pairs. Uh, but sometimes it's easier to use the transformations.